What is up, Poke Trainers? We're back, back with another video. Of course, we're back with another video. So we're uh, deviating a little bit from Crown Zenith. What we have is you can't see anything. Put it in this camera. So we have our binder. We finally found this binder, and it's got our little Pikachu card in there. I say little. It's anything but little. And we got all of the rest. All of the rest. The rest of these. Um, first partner packs so let me uh, let's get this going right here so we have uh, one through eight eight is it eight I think it's eight um, we already opened up gen 2 on one of my previous videos from the uh, mystery box that my, my wife made so we've got the rest of them here here we go look at all these look at these bad boys bad boys so like I said I'm not going to open up Gen 2 because we already did it. So first things first, we're going to open up this binder and see exactly what is in here. So we get our nice Jumbo Pikachu card right there. Looking fantastic. Jungle. This is Jungle, right? No. Now I'm confused. This is Jungle. This is not base up. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, anyways. Uh, this is in the binder thing, train on. So, back when this was first coming out, and kind of give you an idea of when stuff was coming out. So, I don't even know what year this is. Does it have a year on here? 2021, I guess. So, a couple years ago, this came out, and uh, I definitely didn't get any of these. So, I wasn't really uh, big into collecting yet. Um, okay. Anyways, let's jump into it. Here's the binder all nice and um, blank so do we want to do Pikachu first no we're gonna do Charmander no it's Bulbasaur Charmander Squirtle and then we'll do Pikachu right here so oh come on baby I've been trying and dying to figure out a way to display these cards and I think this is gonna be the way to do it one of my subscribers told me about this binder I didn't even know this binder existed so we should have um, plenty of room to put all these cards in here, plus some of these other Jumbo cards. And I might actually just go and end up getting another um, binder for these Jumbo cards. It's a nice way to store it. So I don't know if it's going to be the same packs from the previous one, but let's see here. Here's our first pack. We've got Sword and Shield, which was from the previous one, and Evolving Skies. Was Evolving Skies in the last one? It might have been. So we'll set those picks aside real quick. And man, I love. So I know this is base set. 100% base set right here. And you know what? Where's that Pikachu card at? It should have a jungle logo on there, right? No, no jungle. No jungle logo. Maybe this is base set. Ah, I'm so confused right now, guys. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it is base set. All right. There's Squirtle, there's Bulbasaur, and there is Charmander. Fantastic. I'm loving the Jumbo cards, guys. I don't know about you, but personally, I do like it. So, if we're going in order of the Pokedex. Bulbasaur is first, Charmander, and then Squirtle. Fantastic. Squirtle was always my go-to starter. I uh, switched it up sometimes when I got the red cartridge, and of course, you know, I had to, had to go Charmander. Bulbasaur was always the odd one out. Poor Bulbasaur fans. I'm sorry, guys, but yeah. All right. So this is Sword and Shield. One, two, three, four. And as far as cards for this era or a chase card, I want to say it's probably the um, Snorlax V Max card. I'm not sure exactly what else is in here, but we got a Frost Moth Reverse pretty cool looking and clay doll so nothing too fancy here in our first opening now evolving skies we all know exactly what's in evolving skies and we have pulled it on this channel we have pulled the top two cards um, top two chase cards on this channel um, we have pulled moon umbreon and we have pulled um, Rayquaza V Max big time hits big time fun if you haven't seen those videos go check it out um, I'm pretty sure the Rayquaza one I did a little short on. I haven't done a short for the Moon Umbreon yet, but it's a good pull. Reverse Scrafty, and we got our Hollow, but not a Hollow that we're really looking for. Just a normal Eldegrass Hollow. It's pretty cool looking though, not gonna lie. 
I will not lie, guys. You know what? It's our first hit, so we'll just put that one right there. Can we actually see the card? Can I, maybe I'll move a little bit. That way, make sure we get both of them in there. Kind of doing a little bit of a new, newer setup, but. Anyways, okay, so that was our first one. So again, we missed in Gen 2. We, we're not missing it. We already did it, so we're not going to do it again. All right, here we go. Let's get these jumbo cards out of here. So, oh, look at that. Mudkip. I don't know if I've actually ever seen this card before. This is way before I was, uh, or I, I was collecting up until, let's see here, Fossil, I think was the last ones that I opened. And then um, pretty much everything after that, yeah, and then uh, let's see here, Pokemon X and Y. That's um, that's what got me back into it. But I'm loving the Trico card right there, and Torchic. Oh, a little Torchic. Very very cool cards. Man, was that too close? Probably was a little too close. Here we go. Let's put it back here. Torchic, Trico, Mudkip. Awesome. Loving the jumbo cards, guys. Loving the jumbos. All right, now as far as the packs, let's see here. And we got Sword and Shield, and I'm assuming Evolving Skies? No, Chilling Rain. Okay, so we got different ones. But it looks like Sword and Shield might be the the, the go-to pack here. So far, it's been in all three of them. All right. So hopefully we can get something out of these packs here. I like to think we get at least something special. Something above a normal hollow. All right, Leaf Energy. Double Lucky Egg incredibly hard to find in the games guys fire red i don't know how long i was looking for a lucky egg on a chancy oh my goodness but i did find it anyways all right so we have a reverse pin pinchurin 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 and hey another hollow but it's just a ranguru but man that is another really cool hollow right there loving the colors in the back and we'll put them right there next to elder gross all right so we've had two hits just not the hits that we're looking for guys Alright, Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain is a, is a uh, solid set. Let's see here. Um, you definitely got the um, alternate art cards for the birds. The Galarian form of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Moltres being the higher of, of the three birds. And uh, there's some other chase cards for Chilling Rain. And off the top of my head, I can't tell you which one it is. Score Bunny, A.A. Ron. Alright, so we have a Reverse Hollow Gardevoir and Serena nothing so we are not necessarily hitless but hitless as in no v card or above all right so we are on that was gen 3 this is going to be gen 4 all right let's take a look at these jumbo cards and look at turtwig very very cool let's see here chimchar and we got Piplup. So not my favorite generation of Pokemon starters. Probably one of my least favorite. I know some of you are going to be like going crazy over me because this is probably the generation that got you into Pokemon. But a little bit lower. And honestly, the generation after this, what is this, 4, 5, was probably a little lower for me as well. I think I might actually like Gen 4 better than Gen 5. All right. Oh, wow. We got a Sun and Moon. That's awesome. And another Chilling Rain. So Sun and Moon. Well, let's save Sun and Moon. Let's do Chilling Rain first. I um I have not opened uh, much Sun and Moon. And when I say not much, I mean like maybe like a handful of cards here. I don't think that is a good sign of that code card. I don't think we have anything in this pack here. All right, let's find out though. Fighting Energy, Fire Resistant Gloves, Laron, Peony, Weedle, Snorunt, Craballer, Slowpoke, Snover, a Reverse Hollow Sneasel, and a Seviper. So we are keeping the trend of no fancy cards. No fancy cards. But if we're getting a fancy card, man, let it be from Sun and Moon Era. That would be pretty cool. Alright. Man, I couldn't tell you anything of what to expect out of here. So this should be a lot of fun. Alright, uh, okay, there's the code. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. I'm assuming it should be the same, right? Okay. Psychic energy. Double colorless energy. A grand bull. Metapod. <laughs> it's like he's just sitting there like a like a locust. Uh, Dupiter. A lowland diglet. Marini. Another crab brawler. Eevee. That's a pretty cool looking Eevee. And wow, that's a really cool reverse hollow right there. I like the uh, the water. And uh, water symbol, energy symbol. 
All right, come on, baby. Do you have anything here behind it? Oh, we do. We get an Incineroar GX. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever pulled a GX card. This is, uh, that's really, really cool. Have I pulled? No. I don't think I've opened anything worthy of, or not worthy, but anything that actually had GX cards in it. So that is awesome, guys. So, um, yeah, first GX card on the channel that we've pulled from a pack. That is awesome. So, uh, Sun and Moon is, uh, the one that's bringing it in. All right, so on to number five, Gen 5. Here we go. Alright, um, we'll wait for the packs, I guess. Let's see here. Alright, Snivy, which is probably going to be my favorite out of these three. Tepig is pretty cool, but his Embor, I believe, just didn't really appeal to me. Oshawott, he's okay again. His final evolution didn't really appeal to me too much. I don't know. I, again, just not exactly my cup of tea for starters, but they're okay. They're not, not terrible. Alright. Let's see here, we've got a Battle Styles, okay, and then we got, hey, another Sun and Moon. Man, what are the chances we can pull another GX card? That would be fantastic. Um, again, we'll probably wait for the Sun and Moon. We'll do Battle Styles first. Um, Urshifu, whoops. Well, doesn't look like we're getting anything out of here, guys, so unfortunately that code card looks like a bummer card. All right, here we go, Dark Energy. <laughs> Single strike style mustard. Alright. Supa. Luxio. Gligar. Honage. Scatterbug. Houndor. Frillish. Tower of Waters Reverse. And a Lurantis. So, nothing from Battle Styles, which is okay. I mean, I don't really think there's anything too crazy in there. Alright, so we have our second Sun and Moon here, guys. So there's GX cards in here, which I did not know or did not realize. Alright, here we go. Um, I don't want to give the code away. Okay, there we go. So, Alright, keep the suspense alive. Here we go. Alright, so we got Psychic Type Energy again. Our last Sun and Moon was Psychic Type Energy. Alright. Uh, Bodor. Uh, Timer Ball. Brion. Sandile. A Lolan Rattata, a Snubble, Makuhita, Cutie Fly, a Reverse Dartrix. I really do like these reverses. You can really see the leaf energy here. Grass type. Man, that's really, really cool. I don't know why they did away with these. I like this a lot better than the other ones here. It looks like we got something behind here, guys. Do we have another GX card? <gasps> oh, we do! Decidueye! Love Decidueye. Even more than Incineroar. Um, Rowlet was always my go-to in Sun and Moon, and I love Decidueye. I love, I love his character of the typing of Ghost and Grass. I love how he looks, just how he pulls his wing back and got that arrow right there. I love Decidueye. Very, very cool Pokemon. Let's see if we can just do a little bit. Make sure he's actually in the picture. Okay, there we go. All right, so not bad. Sun and Moon giving us two GX cards, guys. That's fantastic. All right, on to Gen 6. I love Gen 6 Pokemon. This is the this was the stage that got me back into Pokemon. And that, let's see here. We've got Chespin. Uh, Chespin's okay. Um, Chestnut, a little little weird, little weird, a little kind of funky. Uh, Fennekin, super duper cute. And uh, Del Fox is a pretty cool looking like a wizard fox thing going on. But Froakie. Froakie is where it's at, man. I love Froakie. It's an adorable starter Pokemon and evolves into this really super cool um, ninja Pokemon, Gren Ninja. And uh, his shiny variant is all black with like the red tongue going on. It is awesome. I love Froakie. Beyond one of, one of the cooler starter Pokemon for sure. And, okay, so we're sticking with Sun and Moon. Another Sun and Moon. Can we get another hit? That would be fantastic. And Battle Styles again. Okay, so we'll do Battle Styles first. Get that out of the way, I guess you could say. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see if we can not give it away. Okay, here's the code. And one, two, three, four from the back. Let's get that wrapper out of here. All right, Fighting Type Energy. Here we go, Phoebe. Rapid Strike Energy, Cheryl, 
Onyx, that's really cool. Onyx just kind of sitting there, chilling like a snake. Chimecho, Roly Colioli, Blip Bug, Cubone, Age Slash. Again, man. Oh no, this is. Oh, it does have the energy here. This is Battle Styles. Interesting. I still. Uh, so this was a little bit cool. Looks like it has a bigger symbol than the smaller ones. This just has the smaller ones. Anyways, is there anything behind here? Could there be? Oh man, we got a hit. But it's just a normal hollow. That's a really cool hollow, though. Love the steel. It's just kind of popping out there. Okay. All right. On to sun and moon. Here we go. So we have gotten two hits out of our uh, two sun and moon packs. Can we keep the party going? Let's see here. We got, um, what is Papiplo? Papi Poplo? Poplo? That's the starter Pokemon for sun and moon. That's the only one we do not have. So can we get it here? Stay tuned. Formantis, Spiro, uh, Pikipek, Energy Switch, Reversal. Yeah, see? Something with the Sun and Moon, they have like a bigger symbol here and then like little smaller ones. So I really do like the way that it's done. Okay, Man, do we have anything behind here? Oh, another Incineroar, bummer. So uh, our first um, non-hit from a Sun and Moon era. All right, um, yeah, here we go. See, Poppy, Pop, Poppy Blue? Definitely saying his name wrong. Does not sound right coming off my tongue. All right, here we go. Let's get her. Rowlet. I see you, Rowlet. Yeah. Loving Rowlet and his little bow tie, leaf tie. Cute Pokemon evolves into a really, really cool Pokemon. Litten is same thing, man. Cute Pokemon and just evolves into this just ferocious beast of Incineroar. And then you got Poplio. And it's just, I don't know. For me personally, it's not my style. And um, the evolved form of it is, it, I mean, it, it's okay, but not my favorite. Not, not by far. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. We've got, man, another Sun and Moon. And Decidueye. I love Decidueye. And uh, another Battle Styles. I'm not too crazy about these Battle Style packs, but if they're allowing us to have these Sun and Moon packs, that's really cool. So, all right, there we go. I think we need to do that. Yep, there we go. Okay, code. I don't think it really matters. One, two, three, four from the back. All right, fire. More Peko level ball, Pig Knight, oh, Chubby right there, Saladin, Corfish, Slowpoke, Timber, Esper, <laughs> Reverse Hollow Victory Bell, really, really cool looking, and anything behind here? No, just a Drampa. All right, so let's kick it back with Sun and Moon. Come on, baby. Get another, get another GX card here. That'd be really cool. I have no idea what a chase card would be here. Uh, couldn't tell you. All right, one, two, three, four, and fire. So we're going away from the psychic energy onto the fire. Uh, Crocoric, energy retrieval, wishy washy, a stuffle, another EV. We pulled that one earlier, and a dupider. We pulled that one too. Crochet polywag. <laughs> it looks like the clouds. No, are they crochet too? Oh, it's hard to say. All right, Paris, and uh, Big Melisalda. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And nothing behind here, just a, just a Decidueye. It is a cool Decidueye, not even a hollow though. That's a bummer. All right, guys, we are on to our last pack. Gen, wait, was this uh, six, This is Gen 8, yeah. So Gen 9 is um, Sword and Shield. Right, is that right? This is Sword and Shield. What am I thinking? Um. What was after? What am I playing now? Pokemon Scarlet. Yeah. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just rambling. Grookey. I think Grookey is a pretty cool Pokemon. As is Scorbunny and um, Sobble. So, again, these are uh, uh, definitely better than Generations 4 or 5, in my opinion. Um, oh, we need, the, we need the packs. Packs, packs, packs. We've got another Sun and Moon. Awesome. And we have a Vivid Voltage. Okay, so we're changing it up a little bit getting away from the battle style so we can definitely um, have the chase card of uh, Rainbow Pikachu VMAX. Uh, let's see, don't want to give anything away. Ah, oh, I gave it away. Bummer. Alright, so there's nothing in here. At least there shouldn't be. According to the code card. Alright, Careless, Dusclops, Electric, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, 
Milsery, Whooper, uh, Reverse Hollow Cottony, and just a Samurott. All right, so getting to our last Sun and Moon, guys. Here we go. Man, it would be cool to pull. Um, oh man, I want to see Sal Salgaleo, Salgarero. <laughs> Salt word action for you. All right. Anyways. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Leaf Energy. Pelipiper. Pelipper. 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 Bound Sweet. Psyduck. Litten. Cosmog. Roggin Rolla. All right, a Verse Hollow Netball. Come on, baby. Come on, give us some last pack magic. And we have a Parasect. Boo. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. We've got a stack of starter Pokemon. Man, look at all this. That is fun. So, um, let's get here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. Comment down below which one is your favorite starter of all time. If I had to choose, it would probably be between Squirtle, Charmander, or Froakie. I'm not sure which one. Don't make me choose. But I'm going to make you guys choose. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.